Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I am going to be showing you a PR package I received from Madam Glam. Um, it included a base coat, a top coat, three gel polishes, as well as a glitter matte top coat. So I will leave all the names of everything in the description box below. Um, I have used Madam Glam before on my channel. Um, if you scroll down, you'll see that I really do like this brand. So anything positive that I say, you can reference that to products that I have paid for myself and not just think, hey, she only likes this stuff because she got it in PR. But um, definitely this is one of the better brands of gel polish. I do like their quality. I love their packaging. Um, so let's get into um, the last thing they sent me was this portable nail lamp and it's six six watts and it does have an on off switch if you click it once it's for 45 seconds if you click it twice it is for 60 seconds so it's a pretty standard portable nail lamp these are the colors that I got and I'm showing you the underside of the swatch stick so you can see the matte top coat it is a glitter top coat, but it's a real subtle glitter, which I like. The three colors that I got were, were I Love New York, Pop the Champagne, and the Big Apple. Again, everything will be listed down below. So now I'm just applying their base coat on my nails. What I have on my nails already, if you're familiar with my videos, um, I did go ahead and off camera apply the full coverage tips. These are extra, extra long, and they will be available on my website very soon. I will be offering more full coverage tips. I'm just working with my vendor and just trying to get everything together, but those, these will be on my site pretty soon. So what I'm gonna do is a gel polish acrylic ombre. Um, I applied the base coat. I cured that for 60 seconds. Now I'm just going in with one layer of the gel polish. And this is really pigmented, so you only really need one coat, but you can always do two. And because I want a little bit of that shimmer, I'm going to go ahead and apply the glittering matte top coat over it. And it's really, really subtle, um, which is what I like. But if you want more of the glitter effect, then I would just do two coats. coats. After I apply and cure that matte top coat, I'm just going in with my acrylic. The acrylic I'm using is Cover Earth by Young Nails, and it's a little bit warm in my nail room, so the acrylic is drying a little bit faster than I want it to. At some point, I do start to work a little bit wetter with the acrylic, but I feel like when you're working wetter with the acrylic around the cuticle area, for me, I typically get a lot of lifting when I when I do that. So I'm just trying to find the balance between the temperature of the room and how this product is working. I'm also using Young Nails um, Greg's signature brush and then I'm using Young Nails Monomer. To encapsulate everything, I'm using Young Nails in Core Natural. And the reason that I'm using Core Natural is because it's not super clear um, so that it'll just make my ombre look a little bit more seamless. Um, the bad part about that is the subtle shimmer that I have in the gel polish, it kind of takes it away a little bit more. So you can definitely use clear, but I like to use um, a not so clear clear when I'm doing um, my ombres. And I think I've mentioned that before in some of my videos. So I'm just applying my acrylic and just trying to keep my cuticle area and my sidewalls as neat as possible. In this set, I think I did pretty good with the sidewalls and I think honestly I can use a little bit more improvement as far as the cuticle area. I've done better and I've improved so much in that process. And I say that to say, you guys just keep practicing if you are doing your own nails. Definitely just keep practicing. Like I've been doing this for uh, using enhancements, I think about three years. But I know that this whole time, especially the past year, I haven't been practicing as much as I should. So 
just keep practicing and being as consistent as you can with it. Um, definitely you will start to see improvements and just, there are, um, there are a few people that do really good cuticle work. Um, Nuni, Nuni Torres, I think he goes by Giovanni Nails now, like his cuticle area is like perfect. However, he's been doing this, I think for 10 or 11 years. So I'm sure when he first started, you know, he wasn't always that good. But definitely watch people like that and try and mimic how they apply stuff, if that makes sense. But um, definitely just practice and then just watch videos or find tips wherever you can. But I know that I'm definitely getting better in that area. So um, I'm ha I am happy about that. So I did kind of jump around on my nails um, <laughs> from the pointer finger to the middle finger now the thumb and I'll go back and do the index and the pinky um because I'm doing this on myself I'm just doing my nails however I want to I know that typically when you're working on a client you should start like from the pinky on the right hand and work yourself out but hey everyone has a method this is just how I'm choosing to do it um I don't necessarily believe there's a right or wrong way I feel like as long as your products are applied safely on the nail plate and your products that you're using, you fully cure them, that certain techniques can vary um, just as long as you're not doing it in an unsafe way. Because not everyone does everything exactly the same and I feel like a lot of people will get in the comments and start telling people that they're doing something wrong. But sometimes you have to do certain things differently so that it works for you or if you're working on a client, if it works for the client. So I was just, um, I just did my nails how I wanted to. It flowed for me and it worked. Um, when I'm doing the encapsulation, I don't necessarily need to encapsulate too much of that, that cover powder. I'm just trying to make sure that I apply the clear as smooth as possible so I don't have to do too much filing. And that's also something that I feel like I did really good in this set. One thing you always want to do is look at that nail from different angles and where there needs to be more product, definitely apply more product and so you can get the smoothest application possible. And on this pinky, you can see that I am working a little bit wetter, so I was able to get a better blend before everything dried, um, but I was still kind of having a time with the product drying quickly. The pinky is one of the areas too that um, that's not the best nail that for my cuticle application, but like I said, just keep practicing and wherever you need a little bit more product, just put it there and move on. Um, and that's pretty much it for the acrylic application. Oh, I didn't include my filing. I usually don't, but I'm starting to wonder, do you guys want me to keep in a little bit of the filing so you can see my technique on filing? Um, let me know in the comments down below. I kind of feel like nobody wants to see filing, but I also feel like it's kind of an important part of the process. So like I said, I did all my filing off camera and I'm just going to go in with the top coat. And I, like I said earlier, I really do like their products. Um, they, I like how they apply. I like the quality. Um, you know, there's not really too much more to add. Um, I do like the top coat. It is one of the top coats that if you're hard on your nails, it does stay shiny. I mean, if you're hard on your hands, like you use your hands for a lot of stuff um, and you wash dishes and all, all that stuff, the top coat does stay shiny for a while. So it is a quality top coat. They have a non-wipe top coat as well as one that has to be wiped. So just make sure that you are getting the right one. And um, if you are interested in any of the Madame Glam products, I will have a discount code in the description box below. Um, and all the products will be listed or linked below as well. 
and definitely support my channel by using my code. Some of the codes I do um, receive a small commission. Now I'm going in with my scented oil and I'm just gonna make sure that I oil my cuticle area, also behind the nail. And that's pretty much it. I definitely um, do love how this set turned out. You can add a little bling if you're into bling, but I didn't add any. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for spending your time with me.